Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create the Captain America the Winter Soldier opening title sequence. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this in After Effects using only built-in plugins, no third-party plugins required. Right, so let's start with a new composition. So right click new composition and I'm going to make mine 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to use 25 frames per second. You can use anything you like and for the duration I'm going to make it 5 seconds and I'm going to click on OK. So first of all we're going to create a new text layer and I'm just going to type uh, Captain America the Winter Soldier and let's just size that down a little bit. Something like that. So then I'm just going to change this into two lines. So I'm just going to do enter there and I want to change the top text to be a little bit bigger and then select the bottom line and I'm just going to change the leading to be a little bit closer, something like that. For this tutorial, I'm actually going to use Arial Black for the font, but you can go online and search for the official Captain America font and use that instead. So before we get started, we're going to change our renderer from the default uh, one to the ray trace one. So to do that, just right click here at the bottom, go to your composition settings and then under advanced, you'll find that the render is set to classic 3D and we want to change that to ray traced 3D. Now, I just need to warn you that everything will become very, very slow when using the ray traced 3D if you don't have a very fast or the correct graphics card. And uh, what you can do is go into options and just change the ray tracing quality to one for now. OK, click on OK and then OK again to confirm that. And then we're going to make this into a 3D layer and you'll see immediately that things will slow down. So I'm going to change my quality from full to third just to make it work a little bit quicker. OK, next you want to duplicate this layer. So I'm going to press Command D and uh, then for the first layer, I only want to keep the Captain America and I'm going to delete the Winter Soldier from there. And then on the second layer, you only want to keep the Winter Soldier. So I'm going to delete the top section like that. So now you've got uh, Captain America on a separate layer and the Winter Soldier on a separate layer. OK, so let's start the extrusion process. So on the first layer, go to your geometry options and you can change the extrusion depth. I'm going to use 100 and then you also want to do the same with the second layer. So just expand the second layer, geometry options and extrusion depth. Make that 100 as well. OK, so let's start working on the first layer. So let's expand that and go into uh, text. And then I'll click on this arrow next to animate and I'm going to go to front color RGB. So that's the front color of the 3D object. And then I'm going to change this color to black like that. Click on OK. And then I'm going to click next to animator one. I'm going to click on this arrow here next to add, go to property and go to side color and then RGB. And this will add a side color for us. So I'm going to change that to white like that. Hit OK. So as you can see, the front of the letters are black and the sides are white. So that's perfect. So now we want to do something similar with the bottom line, but just uh, invert the colors. So let's go to the Winter Soldier, expand that, expand text. And next to animate, we're going to go to front color RGB and we're going to change this one to white. OK, hit OK. And then next to add, I'm going to go to property, side, color, RGB. And that one we're going to change to black. OK, perfect. Next, we want to add a bevel to both of these lines. So let's go to the first one, the Captain America one. Let's expand it and let's go to geometry options. Then under bevel style, you want to change this to angular. And I'm going to change the bevel depth to around three. So as you can see, we've got a nice bevel around the text. And then we're going to do the same to the second line. So let's expand that. Let's go to geometry options, bevel style. I'm going to change to angular and the bevel depth. I'm going to set to three. OK, then we also want to change the bevel color of the second line. So make sure you go onto your character properties and just change the stroke color from whatever it is to black. And then you'll see we've got a black bevel around that. So next up, we're going to bring in our Captain America shield. So I just went onto Google and I searched for Captain America shield black and white and I found this one and we're going to invert it. So let's bring that into our composition. So I'm just going to drag that to below all our text layers and then we're going to size it up a bit. Something like that. And then I'm going to make it a 3D layer as well. OK, let's invert that one quickly. So I'm going to right click on the shield, go to effect, go to color correction, go to tint. And then I'm going to change map black and I'm going to change the black to white. And then I'm going to change the white to black. 
there we go okay then we also just need to push it back a little bit so i'm going to open the position and i'm just going to change the last value uh, just so it's behind the text and you can actually move it back quite a bit let's change this value to around like 1500 should be fine and then i'm going to scale it up again so go to scale and let's just move that value up a bit till it looks something like that okay next we want to create a camera so right click new camera and all the settings should be fine so let's do a quick test let's just open these properties go to transform and then under position we're going to change this last value to animate the pullback effect so first of all let's just set our out point okay let's zoom out a bit and maybe something like that okay so that's going to be our ending point and we need to set a keyframe for that so go to around three seconds on your timeline and then set a keyframe for position and then also for point of interest okay then we're going to go to our first frame and we're going to zoom in here again so the position value you can uh, just adjust that until it's almost zoomed in all the way and we're going to zoom into this area of the letter a so just zoom that in okay zoom in some more and then also want to use the track x and y for the camera here at the top and you can just position that the a is kind of in the center of the frame okay let's zoom in a bit more so i'm going to adjust this value until that black area fills the screen and then we're just going to use the track tool again just to adjust the center point of this a so let's just move it up a bit until the screen is fully black all right so that's cool and if we play through this quickly we can see that we've got our animation cameras pulling back nicely and it's revealing the text and also the shield okay then there's one more thing i want to change i actually want to uh, change the white color to a bit of an off-white color so i'm going to create a new adjustment layer so go to new and adjustment layer and put that just underneath the camera and uh, then i'm going to right click on that and i'm going to create a tint effect so go to effect color correction go to tint and for the white color i'm going to change that to uh, just something off-white something like that okay hit okay and then let's expand the camera settings again and I want to change these two ending keyframes to easy ease so select them right click go to keyframe assistant and select easy ease all right let's create a quick widescreen mat so I'm going to create a new solid and I'm going to select black as the color click on okay and okay to confirm that put that above everything and then here at the top select the rectangle tool double click on it and then I'm going to take the selection tool and just select these two points right at the top so I'm clicking on the first one shift click on the second one and then holding shift and press down three times and we're going to do the same with the bottom one so select that one point select that point and then shift up three times like that and then we're going to invert this mask so just tick invert it and there you've got your widescreen mat right I'm just going to set the quality back to full and let's do a quick RAM preview all right and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you like it please give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more please click that subscribe button cool thanks for watching see you guys next time cheers bye